Please stay off my legally deeded property. Got the legal right to be here, buddy. Yeah. Call the police. Call them. Call me right in your face. Please get out of get my off face, my property. Sir. Officers, please stop this man from destroying my private property. I'm not going to debate this with you. Well, then why are you asking me? All you're trying to do is, is cause an altercation of some sort. In the grand scheme of things, this is a situation that you have created. Is this officer wearing a Batman or... mask? I believe that's Sergeant Fickle. You've made a mockery out of the entire justice system. Are you explaining my victim's rights to me? Why? He sits here and mocks me. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story was submitted by 68 Shots. In June of 2021, Mr. Shots began documenting a civil feud between him and his neighbors. The events all revolved around the eastern lake shore of Waboskin Lake. The shoreline is divided into three lots between the public boat launch and this bridge. These lots were originally owned by a community store owner who in their later years decided to sell the rights to the shoreline along with 40 adjacent properties. Currently, 12 parties own the properties on the hill above the water and have a deeded right of way over lots 1, 2, and 3 to and from the shore of the lake, which includes the privilege to build docks and boathouses on the shore in front of the three lots. When the store was sold, the buyer converted the property to a personal residence without legal regard to the deeded access to the shoreline. The buyer's widow's daughter now lives in the home and has enlisted the help of a man that lives nearby to remove people's docks from the shoreline in an effort to claim the property as her own and deny them access to the lake despite their deeded right of way. Over the past year, Schatz has recorded over 50 videos documenting the abuse and harassment of himself, his neighbors, and their property by the man he has dubbed Mini Putin on his YouTube channel. The first video in the series shows the Battle Creek Police Department on scene as they were called to stop Mini Putin from removing docks from the lake shore. This is them removing the neighbor's dock without her permission. I'm asking you to st please stay off my legally deeded property. Mr. Schatz then documents Mini Putin spreading corn in the grass near his dock to attract geese to the area, hoping that their feces would aggravate him. Machine off my yard. Sorry, buddy. Got the legal right to be here. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Get off my yard. You got the legal right to be now. Got the legal right to be here, buddy. Yeah. Get off my yard. Well, you want to play Daddy, this way? Call the police. Call them. Despite the many times Mini Putin tells Shots to get off his property, it's important to remember that he doesn't own the property and only recently obtained access by purchasing one of the lots and moving in, granting him the same deeded right of way as everyone else. I have the legal right to be here. No, you don't. No, you yeah. don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. Please stop touching my vehicle. I'm right in your face. Please get out of get my face, Get off my property. Sir. Get off my property. Get my phone. Right now. Go get my phone. If you ever come across my property again, I'll kill you. Okay. Okay. Please. Doesn't have to be like this. Please stop hitting we'll my golf cart, sir. We'll see. Get off my property. Get off my property. Get off my property. Get off it. Get off it. I'll push you right into the weeds. Please stop touching my golf cart. Please stop pushing the golf cart. You're on my property, Justin. You know. I have the legal right to be you here. Don't, you don't have the legal right. Deeded you access. You have an easement. Deeded access to be you here. You have an easement. Not on my property. He just hit me with a golf cart. Please let me leave. Please let me leave. Please let me leave. Another video shows Mini Putin constructing a fence to block shots from accessing his dock, and another shows the holes where the fence was when he was forced to take it down. The cops are called multiple times and shown the deed to prevent him from tearing out the neighbor's docks and cutting down protected foliage belonging to the wetlands. But even when the officers are present, Mini Putin will still attempt to destroy Shot's property and assault him right in front of the officers. Officer, I don't want physical contact with this man. Officers, please stop this man from destroying my private property. The uh, main thing he was doing was just coming down here and lifting this up as far as he could strain the metal and slamming it back down. And 
seems to have broke holes in the concrete there. It's leaning off to the one side here now. Looks like there's a broken bolt there. I haven't heard anything back from law enforcement about any of the assault charges. Still waiting to. And now adding to that destruction of private property. The shenanigans continue, and eventually, Schatz is able to secure a personal protection order against Mini Putin. Sergeant Fickle of the Battle Creek Police Department responds on scene to serve Mini Putin with the PPO. All the way around. That entire to that. thing is your easement. Yes. Lots one, two, and three. It's been well documented, it's been verified with the clerk, the courthouse. The judge has reviewed it now and signed court orders. So, what you're saying is you've revoked his right to be on his own property. This is not his property, sir. He doesn't own any property here. In that, he doesn't live in that house? No, sir. He's doing the yard work here. Okay. And he lives in that house up around the corner. Okay. I didn't know which house he lived in. Sir, I'm, again, I'm not trying to be difficult. That's my wife came to, my, my, my wife came down here to feed the turtles today, and he came down here and started weed whacking the water beside her. Are you going to tell me I'm difficult? Because I'm reporting y'all to the, that's everyone that's I can. Fine. I'm recording it as well. That's fine. I said reporting. I'm not a surveyor, so I don't know. I can't fathom how your access, your easement, would involve... I can explain it to you very simply in layman's terms. Right. I can explain it to you very simply. You Just because you explain it doesn't make it true. I've also showed you the court documentation. You keep trying to ignore that. other than that PPL. I've given it to the Battle Creek Police, okay. to the courthouse, to I the prosecutor. I've up here before. Sir, I, there's a, how many officers are with Battle Creek? Can I give one personally to every single officer with Battle Creek? I've given one to about eight officers okay. with Battle Creek, including your lieutenant. Okay. But again, that's not going to tell us exactly where your easement is. Sir, I have a copy of the document. I'm, I'm not going to debate I have this the raised seal original. I'm not going to debate this with well, you. Well, then why are you asking me? I'm not. I'm explaining to you our point of view. Sir, I guess you have to talk to the court if you don't want to enforce the court's order. Okay. I'm willing to explain to anyone and provide the documentation. Members, so I don't have issues if they come Well, sir, you can't indict me that way. I'm I get along with all my other neighbors except for this stalker. All you're trying to do is, is cause an altercation of some sort. I'm not buying Sir, it. that is not true. You need to stop accusing me of doing things because I'm being the victim of stalking. Okay. You know, I would think that someone in uh, your position would know better than to keep accusing the victim of being the problem. Over the next few months, Mini Putin allegedly violated the PPO on multiple occasions, causing over half a dozen responses from the Battle Creek Police Department. Some interactions go well, with the officers inquiring more about the situation, and others are led by Sergeant Fickle, and almost every time Sergeant Fickle responds to the scene, he is abrasive and combative with Mr. Schatz. In the grand scheme of things, this is a situation that you have created because of your inane ideations that you have access to all of this property so sir where's your legal degree from where's yours from i'm not going to have this debate with you mr shots i'm telling you we will do our jobs i'm sorry explain what you just said to me you said i've caused this situation you have created this entire situation how have i created this situation because you have you're going to victim blame some more go ahead everybody wants you to are see terrorizing it terrorizing your neighbors i'm terrorizing my neighbors no by using bad. my dock no one has ever prevented you from accessing that dock Really? I have it on video, sir. Okay. You can't see videos? Because I have them on video stopping me from using my dock. Okay. I don't watch your channel because I'm not going to entertain you. Because you don't want to know the truth. Because I don't Because you won't investigate and do your job and find out what's you happening here. You are simply here. trying to use us to I think you've made an opinion YouTube. that you don't like me in advance and then refuse to do your job. I don't know you. I don't dislike you. Then where did you get your opinion that I've caused the problem when I have legal documentation to prove that this is my property? This is not your property. This is your easement. It's not my easement. You're mistaken. Easement is not mentioned anywhere in the legal documentation. Then why does the PPO say easement? Sir, you would have to ask the person who wrote the PPO. You got everything you need for the violation report? Yeah, I'm going to go. Okay. I'd like to know what happened with the last violation report. Why? Why? I made it to the prosecutor's office. All right, so, so there's a disconnect happening somewhere because the prosecutor's office is saying that they're not receiving anything from you. That's not true. It's sent over. I'm, sir, I can... 
I can only tell you it sent I, I also have the prosecutor's office on video saying that they have no nothing submitted, nothing on the home invasion, nothing on the assaults, and nothing on these PPO violations. When Officer Hug came out here and did the first PPO violation, there was immediate action. When you came out here this last time, nothing has happened since. I have not heard anything from anyone. On June 13th, 2022, a hearing to discuss Minnie Putin's violations of the PPO was set and three officers of the Battle Creek Police Department appeared in uniform, unannounced, including Sergeant Fickle, to testify against Mr. Schatz in the matter and to petition the judge to terminate the protective order. Their efforts were unsuccessful, and for now, the PPO still stands. But after the hearing, Mr. Schatz went live to explain what happened during court you know our local uniformed police you know especially sergeant fickle there looks like he's geared up for war you know exterior body armor and all these crazy accessories looks like a wannabe batman i don't know but that's who's there to stare me down on the way into the courthouse Finally, on July 10th of 2022, Mr. Schatz called the Battle Creek Police Department again to respond to take a report of a violation of the PPO. As he is giving his account of the violations, Sergeant Fickle arrives on scene. I have on video where she came up here on the side by side, I believe six times in a row within a period of about 15 minutes. I mean, Deb's not on the PPO, right? No, she's not. Okay, I'm gonna go speak with Corey and then I will send it over to the prosecutor's office. As you know, because this is the multiple and you are able to call the PPO coordinator. Is this officer wearing a Batman show. mask? I believe that's Sergeant Fickle. It is, after you labeled me as Batman on your last rant, I decided to bring some levity into the situation since you've made a mockery out of the entire justice system with this. So as I was saying, you were able to call the PPO office and request a show pause hearing, as you know, or you probably can have your attorney request to put it on the, the hearing for the 25th. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, are, are you explaining my victim's rights to me, why he sits here and mocks me? I am is, explaining the process. You know the process. But I make is this sure what Battle aware. Creek does? And I am going to go talk to Mr. Parker and get a statement from him. Can I ask for names and badge numbers here, gentlemen? Damn it. That's Officer Herb Street, 1135, and Sergeant Fickle, 10 K9, Corporal Wolf, 1108. All right. I'm going to go talk to Corey and get his statement, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Schatz. I guess you can see exactly how serious Battle Creek Police Department takes a judge's orders. The sergeant showed up wearing a Halloween mask and continues to wear it both while dealing with the complainant and the suspects. Hmm, I wonder how serious of police work is being done right now. After the incident, Mr. Schatz tried to report the incident to the Michigan State Police, but they wouldn't take a report. The Battle Creek Police Department chief is also refusing to take his calls to file an official complaint. Furthermore, since the incident, the sergeant's wife has allegedly sent hateful messages to Schatz, further victimizing him in the situation. Overall, the unprofessionalism of the Battle Creek Police Department supervising officer Sergeant Fickle is a disgusting display of why there is such a massive divide between the public and our servants. Of course, because he is the ranking member on scene, none of the other officers has the balls to tell their sergeant that he shouldn't wear a Halloween mask on a call for service to intentionally instigate the reporting party. It's unclear why Mini Putin has yet to be arrested, despite the multiple violations of the PPO. It is alleged that there may be connections between Mini Putin and the members of the Battle Creek Police Department, but those are just allegations for now. This video is just a general compilation of over 55 different publications on the 68 Shots channel, and it is still ongoing. In fact, while on the phone researching this video with Mr. Shots discussing these events, he had to end the call early because Mini Putin was out and edit again. All of the events are labeled on his channel in order if you'd like to binge watch the events as they've taken place over the past year. I highly recommend that if this case interests you, that you subscribe to 68 Shots, as it is far from over. His links will be in the description and 
and pinned comment. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content, and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.